determination of static pressure, static compliance, air resistance, and auto peep on the Draeger. Draeger ventilating here in PRVC, we can end up seeing there is a peep I button on the side, and simply by pressing the start button, it'll go ahead and clicking. It'll go ahead and do an auto peep maneuver and display for us the amount of auto peep that is, that is present. In this one, however, it says the set peep is 5.1, the measured peep, total peep is 5.2, so the intrinsic peep is 0.1. Be careful because it does say peep I, when in reality it's the peep total. Also will show us a volume that is trapped, and as you can see, it's a very nominal amount of uh, volume, so therefore the auto peep would, 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 would indeed be, be, be zero. And it shows us a, a freeze to show us that the flow is going uh, that there is an absence of flow and there is no rise in pressure as, as you would be expecting. To measure the static compliance you again need a square wave flow pattern with a, um, a plateau being applied. So in this case we're going to need to go in to our vent settings and change the additional settings by, by turning off the auto flow. In doing so then I will have a square wave flow pattern and a um, yeah, square wave flow pattern and a rectilinear rise to pressure um, as a pr pressure pattern. I also need to extend the inspiratory time so I create a plateau and there's my plateau period and you can see the value there. Now you'll notice that it does measure static compliance and area resistance, and you can utilize those those numbers so long as you have that that, that plateau present, and those that those numbers will be will be value, valid. Square wave flow pattern will give us the resistance and the pla the plateau period. To actually measure what the plateau pressure is, we can see that it's displayed here P plat. If not, I can go ahead and freeze my graphic and now utilize this to go back and see what this value is right here. It says airway pressure of 12, so that's my plateau pressure. The measurement of compliance and resistance, just remember when you go back, you'll need to, to reactivate, after you've done your measurements, the auto flow on the Draeger. And there's our back to our, our auto flow.